Okay, let us take question number 4. For every twice differentiable function f with f 0 whole square plus f dash 0 whole square equals 85, which of the following statements is are true? So, 4 options are given. First one says there exists r comma s from set of real numbers where r is less than s such that f is 1 1 on the open interval r comma s. Let us start this one. It is given to me in this question that f is a function satisfying one condition f 0 whole square plus f dash 0 whole square equals 85. Now, let us consider f is a constant function. If f is a constant function, then its derivative becomes 0. Its derivative is 0 meaning f 0 comes as root 85, but it is given the values of f lying in the interval minus 2 to 2 meaning f is not a constant function. This is not constant correct and it is continuous function is not constant and it is continuous means that it is always possible to find it is always possible to find such an interval r s where it is 1 1 correct. So, option 1 is clearly correct. Let us go for second option which says there exists x naught in the interval minus 4 to 0 such that mod f dash x naught is less than equal to 1. Third one says limit x approaching to infinity f x is equal to 1. Fourth one is about f alpha plus f double dash alpha equals 0. Let us consider a function of the type a sin b x in general because it is given in the question it is true for every such function. Consider this one as a function f x is lying in the interval minus 2 to 2. So, clearly a will also lie in the interval minus 2 to 2 because sin b x is lying in the interval minus 1 to 1. This is clear. Okay. So, we can see here for the function f x equals a sin b x clearly limit x approaching to infinity f x is not equal to 1 means option c is not correct. Next, since f x is lying in the interval minus 2 to 2, so f of minus 4 is lying between minus 2 and 2, minus 2 to 2, f of 0 is also lying between minus 2 and 2. Now, if I apply Lagrange mean value theorem using LMVT, we can say that mod f dash x which is equal to mod f of minus 4 minus f 0 divided by minus 4 minus 0 this one f minus 4 is between minus 2 to 2 f 0 is between minus 2 to 2 means f minus 4 minus f 0 is between minus 4 and 4. So, clearly this term is less than equal to 1. So, looking at the third option which says it is less than equal to 1 meaning it is correct. Fourth one, it is talking about f alpha and f double dash alpha, f alpha plus f double dash alpha meaning that a sin b alpha plus a b square into minus sin b alpha. Now, we can see here that if we take a sin b alpha common, we are left with 1 minus b square. This will definitely be 0 for some alpha in the interval minus 4 to 4 because sin b alpha will become 0 for some value in the interval minus 4 to 4. So, looking at the fourth option which says there exists alpha in the interval minus 4 to 4 such that f alpha plus f double dash alpha is 0 and f dash alpha is not 0 is also correct. So, looking at all four options we find that correct answer is a 
B and D. So, this is clear. Now, move to the next one that is question number 5. 